من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول وأول الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself and عبدك العجيس الضعيف ومسكين وظالم وجهل and but for the grace of Allah جل that we're still in existence and alhamdulillah the hijab of this month is isharat and hidayat and guidance that we pray that Allah grant us these lights in this holy month of Shahban, the month of Sayyidina Muhammad special gift to the nation. That when we say, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum, that every deep reality lies within that phrase and is a rope from Divinely Presence to our existence upon this earth and upon this life that Allah has given to us. This way of marifa is based on reaching the reality of Allah the Divinely Essence and that can only be reached within the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah which is the Presence. And the door to that Presence is the secret of the Ulul Amr. That in this month of Shaban and the month of guidance it's so important to understand that the, the door to the Presence and inside the Presence is an essence, is the secret of the journey like a video game. And the one whom Allah guides to the door then has been granted a tremendous reality, a tremendous gift. For if they should enter that door and move into the Presence, they have now access to the essence of the Divine, the Presence. The one whom Allah has not guided to the door there's no guidance. So when Allah is describing guidance it has a much deeper understanding in this way of marifa and that Allah describes, Qalb al-Mu'min Baytullah, Baytullah is the house of Allah And Allah described that for every home there is a correct door. Enter through the Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Correct door. And Allah come into our lives to expand that understanding that the face is a door and from what we can gain access to these doors that are upon the earth because every reality it has a, from both sides that we're trying to reach to the essence, we're trying to understand how to achieve the Presence. And Allah reminds for us that enter the house through the correct door. So means that our journey towards Allah the Lord of Power and to follow the command and move to the Presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and that Allah gives to us and the Ulul Amr, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum. And that the Ulul Am are a door upon this earth. And not only a door but a face that when we enter through the 
correct door into the house, its secret is a face. That through the reality of the face of Ulul Am, they can draw people into the presence. And as a result of drawing into the presence, they have now access to the essence and the Divine the Kingdom and the Divine the realities. That the immense gift that Allah gives of guidance from Atiullah, Atiya Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum where the majority of people are wondering how to achieve that and that they may think that if they go direct that they can reach to the reality of Allah which is infinitely impossible other than from what Allah directly lift His servant. But the system in which Allah is granting of a ni'mat, of a gift to humanity is that find these doors upon the earth and the door is a face that if you should come across their face, if you should come across their teaching as soon as you connect because the face is a holy opening and that it does not perish. As soon as you connect with that face, as soon as you come across that face, that face by the power of its soul draws the souls of people towards its reality. So then the ulul al-bab, these are a category of guidance. When Allah describes these are the, the men of the door that they safeguard the presence, they represent the presence. And we talked before many times these are like the beads that come together. That the one whom trains the ulul bab is Imam Ali salam to have truthful character. The truthfulness of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq al Mutlaq and to be true in their love and in their khuluq and their character and Imam Ali salam to bring about the reality of their head. That not the head of dunya, that if you lose the head of dunya and you, you give your ears to dunya, you give your eyes to dunya, you give your mouth and tongue and breath to dunya, it's of no value to Allah But the ulul al-bab, the servants of the door will be trained so that they come to zikr and become the people of zikr. And from amongst them they'll be trained in tafakkur and contemplation. And the concept of tafakkur and contemplation is that they lose their head. What they hear is not important because they have to negate the physicality and their physical hearing. That's why they'll be tested with samina wa thana. What they think they see is of no importance and they'll be trained in what they see through their heart, right? Because if they're not trained at this level, everything they hear is going to be meant to deceive them. Now you see even more, they play videos that are not from those people, they're called deepfake. They can mimic the sound and the image of people and they can make a famous actor say things he never said because this is a Dajjal system. But long before this system came upon earth, this was a practice for the people of the door. That Allah wants them to be trained that your hearing has to be through your soul and that what you hear of gossip and what you hear from dunya, it has to be trained to be filtered. And that's why the hearing of their physicality they don't trust. That everything has to be verified through the hearing of their soul and their connection. But means that you have to have connected first. Because next question everybody will ask, Shaykh how do we have hearing from our soul? It's because you have to have your muraqaba, you have to have your training in which you train to connect and then you're trained not to hear. That's why they don't care to hear what people have to say of backbiting and every type of uh, dirtiness of dunya. Then they'll train and with their eyes 
and what they see from their eyes and is of no importance. And their guidance comes from the eyes within their heart. So it means that the face in which they develop is a heavenly face, that their ears they submit to the hearing from their soul. Their seeing is from the seeing of their soul. Their breathing and their breath is from the breathing of their soul, the qudra, Divine qudra and Divine lights. And then Allah when these faculties are submitting then grants them that their tongue is from the tongue of their soul. They speak from the world of light and their soul reality, not the physical reality only. And as a result of that they're, betray they're trained now to be from the people of the Bab and that their face on this earth is a means in which to call people. So that when people see the face, that face and the power of its soul comes out and grabs people towards it. As a reality and as a reality of that it brings them to the presence and that's why all the teaching and all the reality of the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad because once we understand everything begins to make sense. The why they talk so much about Sayyidina Muhammad well because the face that people are seeing and where the face is drawing people to is not to themselves, not to this and that but to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And how could it be doing that if that face is not talking all the time about Sayyidina Muhammad That's the dalil of it, that's the proof of it. That when someone turns to that face, watches the teaching of that face, watches and reads the readings and the knowledges of that face, everything is about the presence, the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And as a result of entering through that door they find themselves in the presence and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad They have a yearning and an ishq. A Divinely love that is blossoming and growing as a result of being in that presence. If they nourish that reality and they go deeper into that reality they gain the essence of the Divinely Presence. So what Allah then gave us in these holy months means the essence and the secret of light and the creation of light, subhanahu man huwa khaliqun nur is raja. And that Allah is granting immense realities of the essence of raja. But the people don't know it, they don't feel it. But a sign for us was the mirage was in it, that was a door towards the essence, it's like a room now. So in that Reality there is a door in Rajab in which Prophet moved towards the essence to be dressed. Comes the holy month of Shaban which represents the presence, the room, that everybody should be in that room if they want to achieve the secrets of Rajab. Because it's that presence of Prophet that went through the mirage, went and got all the secrets and all the realities. So then those secrets would be where? Those blessings would be where? Those tajallis and realities that are infinitely happening at infinite moments in time. All that blessing is coming into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad is signified by the holy month of Shaban. For us just to understand this process. If we want to receive the bounty and secrets in which Allah is giving, He gave to Prophet 
So then it makes common sense to then be in the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad be in the proximity and the nearness to be with whom you love, you will be with whom you love. And as a result of trying to achieve that Allah gave the nation Ramadan which represents the nation in Ulul Amr. That the Ulul Amr are like doors towards the reality of Prophet When you find them and accompany them, learn from them, they are a doorway to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And naturally and logically in that presence is the entire treasures of the heavens of what Allah is bestowing. So the gifts of Israhi wa Maraj, the dressing the soul of Prophet then those whom are entering the door of Ramadan and fasting its days and celebrating its evenings and praying and reading Qur'an then they're being dressed by the infinite realities of Israhi wa Maraj and has a deep reality towards the ni'mat of Allah that He left 124,000 doors upon this earth and that when you approach the door and enter through that door it should be to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And that's by the teachings, by the adab, by the mannerisms, everything should be a symbol of that love. That all that we know of the love, the kindness, the mercy, the infinite realities, everything that is described by Sayyidina Muhammad then should be in that presence. But unfortunately the dunya is like a carnival where there's 10 million doors and every door seems to be posing as a door towards some presence, many doors to the presence of shaitan. That they will say, here we'll teach you this, we teach you spirituality, we'll teach you this religion, we teach you that. And it is a door which if you enter, it enters into a divine difficulty and divine anger. Others may even pose to be a door towards Allah in which you open and they say, come straight and you enter into the presence of Allah and we know that is not true because for this nation is, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah So the Dajjal belief system will be, come to our door so that you can enter directly into the presence of Allah and negate the presence and the room of that reality, the presence of that reality, the house of that reality is Muhammadun Rasulullah But alhamdulillah that Allah left upon this earth until the day of judgment 124,000 and these are His awliya whom their ashiqeen and muhibeen and that they exist by the love of Sayyidina Muhammad They are nourished by the love of Sayyidina Muhammad And our life is to find the door, enter into that door and keep the presence of that reality, nourish that presence, cherish that presence by our faith and action, by our good deeds so that the the room and the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad open for us that Divinely Essence. Like a treasure within that room begins to dress the servant with the Divinely Essences and Divinely Realities and the Divinely Treasures of Allah Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa Bi Surat Al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below 
the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.